guys, so today I'm going to do a what's in my bag London Fashion Week edition because oh! this week I'm going to London Fashion Week on Friday I can only do Friday because I've got a little boy so I can't do the whole weekend which is unfortunate but I'm going to really enjoy Friday, I can't wait I've never done a what's in my bag before because I think the contents of my bag is pretty boring really it's everyday stuff, I'm just going to show you what's in my bag and this is the bag that I'll be taking to London Fashion Week I think I'm going to be taking two bags, this one which is from Misguided, oh it's so pretty it's like a nudie blush and a nudie blush snake skin with the texture of it as well and it's a oh, twist fasten opens up like that it is so gorgeous, it has a lovely print down the side as well it looks like that at the back and then it's just got a lovely shoulder strap this was £28 I think which is quite a lot for such a kind of petite bag I guess I actually thought it was smaller because it looked smaller in the pictures but it's bigger than I thought uh, but the reason I'll be bringing two bags is because I need somewhere to put my lunch if I'm going to take lunch because I know London's really expensive um, I've never actually been before but I've been told obviously and I don't have money to even go to London Fashion Week so I'm going to have to take my own lunch so let's start with what's inside so it doesn't look like this like I said it looks like that inside a lovely zip at the top which is great for security and then it opens up like that with all my stuff in first off and most importantly take a water bottle okay i need to update this and also size down because this bottle doesn't actually fit in that bag it does fit in but it won't zip up so i need something a bit smaller which kind of sucks because i know i'm going to need a lot of water so i might take two bottles or i might put this in my bike bag because it's a popper fasten so there is room at each side for the lid to pop out definitely need water to keep hydrated and then i got some little snacks some orange chocolate raisins for lunch bar i absolutely love these these are so nice they're not too chocolatey because i'm not fond of chocolate then a camera which I, you must take to London fashion week whether you're doing vlogging yourself or the people you just want to get inspiration you need a camera that kind of stuff you probably could use your phone depending on what it is mine is a 4s so i don't particularly think the quality is that good so i pinched my mom's camera because usually i would bring my canon dslr which is a 600d but it's so big and hefty it's going to hurt my neck and really frustrate me so i bought this which i'm not going to recommend this camera because i don't know i can't even turn it on because my mum can't find the lead at the moment so i've had to order a new lead um but it's a Kodak Easy Share, the M320 edition. It's got 9.2 megapixels, which is a lot more than my phone, so it's definitely going to be worth taking. And I don't want to, like I say, pull a really hefty bag around with me, so this is going to be perfect. I might vlog London Fashion Week, depending on whether this camera actually films or not, which I don't know. I don't know what the quality is like, so I can't turn it on. Yes, you can film on this, so I might film for London Fashion Week, thumbs up if you want to see that then I've got my purse thinking about getting a new purse for London Fashion Week because it's quite a like, bulky purse I want something thin and it's really old and it's getting tatty this is from New Look I want something a bit more thin and formal and then I've got some tissues because for some reason I always need to blow my nose I don't know why every day, probably at least 20 a day I have to blow my nose it just, I don't know, it makes me feel comfortable clear then my phone um, this is all the main pocket by the way then my Burali just in case because it's English weather and you know I don't know what's going to be like in London I know last year it did rain I think for two days last year on London Fashion Week and it looked terrible like all the poor girls are probably being brave about it uh, this Burali is just from Primark then a pocket mirror and brush, totally need that. I think I got this from Wilco's for like a quid or something, maybe two pounds. Then in the little pocket at the top, I've got chewing gum, I've got some makeup. So this is Max Factor Whipped Cream Foundation. I don't actually use this foundation for my face, funnily enough, I actually use it for my lips. It's a really nice cream kind of texture and I feel that it just 
kind of smooths my lips down a bit. It's really useful as well when you want to reapply lipstick or a different lipstick. So you can just go over your lips with it and it will capture all the edges of your mouth and then you can put a new one on and it looks like nothing's happened. Because when I bite my lipstick off, there's always a little red mark somewhere and it's really annoying. It also kind of like helps make your lip lips a look look a little bit fuller I think. I mean I would usually use a pencil but I haven't I don't actually own one. I want to own one, I really want something that's gonna go with a teddy velvet my lipstick which I also want but I have to just wait for that because it apparently it's so popular it keeps going out of stock. Then I've got my concealer which is the collection's Last Imperfection in Fair. I'm not sure about this, so many people have recommended it to be honest and it's alright, it does pretty much do the job properly but I feel that it makes my skin look really rough and coarse and I don't really know what make because I don't wear makeup that often, I I presume that makeup's meant to look make you look flawless, although it probably doesn't. So I'm not 100 percent sure. I might try something like Benefit Erase Paste, but yeah, that's in my bag for now. Then I've got my current favourite lipstick, which is Rimmel Asia. And it looks like that. I'm currently wearing it now. It is so nice and it smells so good, it makes me want to eat it. It's a really nice um, dark kind of pinky rose colour, really cute for autumn. Um, then I've got my Carmex because I get really dry lips and I don't like Vaseline, it doesn't really work for me, I don't know why, but Carmex works amazingly. If you're not used to it, it will sting your lips at first and make them feel like a burning sensation, but I've had, I know this sounds silly, but um, my partner says that I have really, really soft lips and the people in my very long past have always complimented me on it, how sick, lot soft my lips are and this is the strawberry one or I choose the cherry one as well but I prefer the strawberry smell. Then I got some plastis <laughs> because I know the shoes that I'm going to wear are going to damage my feet. They've already given me a blister um, and I'm not changing them because they go perfectly with my outfit that I've chosen. So I'm currently just wearing them in at the moment whenever I go to uh, the shop or pick my son up from school or um, like I only do four hours of work so I do it there as well. Uh, I think that's everything out of the bag, so it looks like that. I don't know if you can see that really, because it's all black. Um, but it has a pocket at the back with a zipper, then it has two pockets at the front, one bigger than the other, so one's for my phone, which is this one, and one's for the tissues. I'm really excited, I absolutely love this bag, it's so nice. So if you're going to London Fashion Week, I hope to see you there, and maybe I'll record you, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. I've never really done a vlog. I have, but I've never like uploaded it or anything like that. So yeah. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you do and please subscribe. Next week's video is going to be what I wore to London Fashion Week. So stay tuned for that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thanks for watching. Bye.